Hi, Pisces, it's me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you guys your bonus tower reading. You had a lot of views this week. I think you might have had the most views aside from Scorpio, so here is your bonus reading. Whew, seven of Wands. Who is being resistant and defiant? Childhood issues. The World card. The Four of Wands. Four of Pentacles. This is crazy because all of the bonus readings I've done this evening have had double fours, right? So that represents stability and also stagnancy. Ooh, Knight of Wands. Yeah, look, the universe is trying to shoo you right along. What's holding you up, Pisces? Oh, is it a relationship? Look at with the Four of Wands here. You trying to hold on to somebody who's non-committal and n not consistent? I feel like some of you guys are wanting to settle down. I feel like it took a it took you a long time to become comfortable with this, but it's almost like okay, finally, I think I'm ready to settle down. But the person I want is not ready. Ooh, don't you just hate that? Eight of Pentacles. Mm. This shows somebody's not doing the work. Somebody is resisting going within or doing the work, helping to heal maybe childhood issues. Um, this is going to sound weird, but it's almost like this work, this person is a walking time bomb is what I'm hearing. Seven of wands. Look at that. You got seven of wands on both sides. Somebody is resisting either opening up their heart or perhaps even being vulnerable. Ooh, queen of swords. They're ignoring the lessons that they learned in life. Ooh, temperance. Um, this marriage is not going to come right away. And for some of you guys, it ain't even going to come easy. Six of Cups. Death card. Slow this thing down. It's out of control is what I'm hearing. It's almost like somebody's trying to pre prevent or uh, what is the word? Somebody's trying to avoid getting hurt. Okay, I like that word better. Avoid getting hurt. It's almost like they're playing with fire. And just an example of what I'm seeing or what I mean by that, it's almost like they allow themselves to fall in love and love and love, and, and then they pull themselves back. That's who the Knight of Wands is. The Knight of Wands is inconsistent as hell, okay? He's in and out. He's all over the place. He's back and forth. He doesn't know if he wants to go or come. Like, but with the death card, it's like, listen, you need to cut that out. Like, I'm getting dizzy. Okay. I feel like with the six of cups and the four of pentacles, somebody is holding on to you or holding on to the love that they have for you. I feel like there's somebody here who's trying to be patient. Perhaps you, Pisces, are trying to be patient with a Sagittarius or a Scorpio that has Sag in their chart. Could be a Scorpio Sag Cusper. It's almost like you're trying to be patient and you're trying to wait them out because you love them. You really want to marry them. But I feel like this person with the um, Queen of Swords and a Page of a Knight of Wands, this person might have literally said to you, Pisces, I'm not looking for a relationship or I don't want to get married. Okay. And somebody is not hearing that. That's why you got the seven of wands here. And remember I said to you, they get, they love, love, love. And then they cut, they pull back. This is a yo-yo. Thank you. I love when these readings come together like this. This is a yo-yo. It's almost like they look like a boyfriend. They act like a boyfriend, but they ain't. They'll do everything under the sun, but tell you what it is that you want to hear. They'll do everything under the sun, except for reveal their true and open heart. They're resisting change. They're, they don't want to grow up. Ooh, child. The pages to me are like 10 and under. 
the knights are like the teenagers. And angels just said to me, for some of you guys, yeah, this person is very much teenage-like. Ooh, 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 child. I don't even know. Put a third row out. Okay, angels, whatever you say. So what does what does Pisces need to do? I don't really want to call this person immature, but I do want to say they have some very bad habits. Right? They're inconsistent. <sighs> the page of wands is immature. I didn't want to say. I just said the pages are like 10 and younger. And I just said, I don't feel like this person is insecure and immature, but they got some bad habits. Well, the angels just contradicted or proved me wrong. Because I feel like this person is refusing to grow up. They're immature and they're refusing to grow up. And you're trying to wait them out. You're trying to give them all the tools. You're trying to help and coach and support. But you know their inner child issues, number one, that they're not ready to deal with. I mean, come on, Pisces, you're a psychic. You know this. <sighs> so instead of cutting them off, you're just waiting around. Oh, wow. I, feel, I do feel like some of you guys are wondering about walking away. So let's see what else the tarot has to say. Mm, you love, mm, there's a lot of love here. I don't even know what the hell just happened. Oh, that's some fiery ass sex too. You have the six of cups here twice. I just noticed that. You have codependency issues. That's what it is. That's why you refuse to let them go. Immaturity again. You guys are ba barely on speaking terms. Y'all ba barely speak. They barely talk to you, but you're waiting them out. This is my fuckboy card the knight of wands and you're wanting them to again get rid of their own ways and i feel like they're telling you that but they're telling you that to keep you around and to string you along i feel like a lot of you guys know that they're lying but to an extent it's almost like you're rejecting your intuition because you love them so much and because you have codependency issues wow this is this is deep this is deep <clears throat> helpful people. You could need like a third party, a mother, an auntie, or somebody to come in and just give you an objective point of view. Or some advice to basically, you know, help you see this thing from another angle. No, that kind of says you're not ready for it. it. The energy that I'm feeling for you, Pisces, it's almost like you know the truth, but you're not ready to accept it or you're not ready to for it to reveal itself to you, right? It's almost like, you know, I'll look at it, just not now. Angels just said you're not willing to separate from this person. And at the end of the day, you don't. We're just here to offer you advice and to kind of give you another view of your current situation. So whatever you decide to do is your free will, no judgment. A year from now, yeah, yeah, I feel like again, um, maybe by the end of the year, you may make the decision to pivot. Listen to your intuition. That just said, you guys are psychic. Come on now, you're the most psychic sign of the Zodiac. Peaceful resolution. Communicate clearly. Yeah, where's the Page of Swords? I feel like there's a lack of communication here. Um, I have Gemini in the Venus position, Sagittarius in the Venus position, Cancer in the Sun position, Queen of Swords, which is Libra in the Moon position, Capricorn in Sun, um, Cancer in the Moon position, Temperance is Sagittarius Sun, you have Scorpio Sun, Sagittarius rising or in the Mercury position. So you have a lot of Sagittarius here. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius Scorpio cusper. Or it could be any sign. Anyway, um, Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, Pisces.
like 